nice and stable. Okay, let's see what it can do. This will let me drain sewage water from the tank. The bucket is well filled. Whoa, filled to the brim. I wouldn't trust the liquid in that bucket for nothing. Okay, let's see what it can do. There's enough energy left for that. Maybe I should be careful not to spill anything on my fingers. I still need those. I can't combine those like that. I'm not a nuclear scientist. I think that bucket of liquid glows in the dark. Something obviously needs to be installed there. Um, Dr. Nonna? What is it, Vladimir? This is pretty nice secret headquarters you have here. Thanks! I renovated it myself! The previous owners were a little careless with it. Those intelligence people have absolutely no taste, and that includes you. Behind you, a piano. Where? That's not funny. Over and out! Okay, let's see what it can do. Nothing happened. Must be broken. It doesn't look much more airworthy than I do. Something obviously needs to be installed there. This must be where the helicopter's engine goes. Wait, there's a plaque with specifications on it. I'll scan the blueprint for you. kind of glass ball into which something can be filled. A tightly wound coppery spool of copper wire made from copper. The wires are well insulated.
the engine still needs some electricity, something like a car battery. A mounting bracket for the electrical supply. A radioactive fluid supplies energy to the engine. Doesn't look like a fully operational nuclear reactor to me. So let's get this in there. Ah, it looks like it's not working. And I'm afraid I can't fix it without help. Um, Dr. Nonna? What is it, Vladimir? Can you build me a nuclear energy reactor? Why don't you do it yourself? I am having my problems with that. Huh, shows you're just an intern, not a genius like me. That is why I am asking you. All right, then it won't be like that. Send everything up in the elevator. Over and out. I sent that junk engine up. Can you make a nuclear engine out of it? Got it. I'll take a look at it. not in accordance with the standards. Wait, that doesn't belong there. That's no way to flange a B3. I did not install that like that. Oh, man. What kind of bungler made this connection? What the hell is that ballcock doing in there? There! Done! Ready! I'm sending the nuclear energy reactor back down. Thanks. What do you want it for, anyway? Uh, my Pyphone runs on nuclear energy. Your what? My, uh, state-of-the-art intelligence equipment. It'll work perfectly with my nuclear engine. The elevator shaft is closed, and I can't open it that way. Ah, something's coming. It's about as contaminated as I am. My first nuclear engine Excellent nuclear reactor. Then in it goes. Ah, the helicopter has power now. Clap, clap, clap. Handy things, these clapping sensors. Now I can take off. Then it looks like we're ready for takeoff. You actually know how to fly a KGB helicopter? Are they any different to fly than an FBI helicopter? You flew an FBI helicopter before? There used to be this video game where you had to shoot down alien spaceships with a helicopter. An FBI helicopter? Who else would protect us from aliens? So, it's up to me? Oh. You can do that? I can tell you what to do. I just have to prepare something first. Are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, well, you've been having some problems for a little while. There is nothing wrong with me. I am fine. Oh, sorry about that. No problem. Can you fly that thing? Not yet. I need a pilot program for a KGB helicopter. I know Kung Fu. What? Sorry, wrong file. Just a second. Let's go. There's something stuck in the crack in the cushions. A magazine called Bear Bushkus. Please don't open it, Larry. 
Yikes! What's wrong? I'd forgotten women used to look like that back then. Look here. Warm and cozy, even on the outside. Then again, that was during the Cold War. <laughs> oh. You know what this magazine is suited for? I can guess, but I don't dare say. A wonderful way to pass the time. And I can't even turn myself off, or we'll crash. You think that would be enough to get into the Mile High Club? Of course, Larry. Look! The joystick! Not looking! We're wobbling too much, Larry. I'm trying to keep everything under control at the same time. You could just focus on one thing at a time. If I do that, I won't be able to hold the other stick. to new lost wages. Did you ever doubt it? But now we have to fly to the prune tower. We made it to new lost wages. Did you ever doubt it? But now we have to fly to the prune tower. at last, Miss Les. Excellent work, Yan Mai. Thanks. So, Faith, where is the algorithm? Talk. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wang? You'll never get your hands on the algorithm. It was destroyed. You're lying. Then ask your henchwoman here. She destroyed it herself. What? I think... I... There's something coming towards us. 
The lava from Kalua destroyed the algorithm. I'm so sorry, Larry. But I won't forget your sacrifice. Is that true, Yanmai? I don't know what she's talking about. Besides, my mission was to bring Faith here. I threw that Larry guy in the lava. But where would he have gotten his hands on an algorithm? Then, we will keep you locked up here as long as it takes you to reconstruct the algorithm. There's something flying right at us. What's going on? Is that... Larry! Is that... a KGB helicopter? What? I knew you'd be the death of me, Super Agent Larry. Faith, I've come to save you. Larry, I don't believe it. Oh my god! You killed Yanmai! Maybe we could resuscitate her. She is crushed. This agent is no more. This is an ex Yanmai. Larry, reboot required. Chop, chop. Not now, Pi. Leave the Pi phone in your pocket, Larry. Wait a minute. There's something wrong with this Pi phone. And Faith said the algorithm is in the lava. Something must have gone wrong with the system update. Really? You don't think the algorithm had something to do with it? Larry! The algorithm didn't end up in the lava. Because it's on that Pi phone. Give that to me. Hey, hands off. Hands off. The algorithm has become part of the Pi software. We have the missing piece of the puzzle for our new product. Now, where is that adapter again? Ah, here! Data transfer initiated. Stop it! You don't know what you're doing! Uh, what exactly is he doing? He's transferring the self-learning algorithm into that robot! As long as nothing happens to my pie. Larry, your pie is a miracle. The algorithm merged with her, but it didn't corrupt her. Your pie should have become all-powerful and gone insane. That's what happened in all my tests. That's why I never published the algorithm. I don't understand what prevented it from happening this time. But, uh, she'll be all right afterwards, right? No, Larry. The algorithm will be ripped out of her and merged into this pie bot to form a self-learning artificial intelligence. Exactly the kind of AI I've been trying to prevent. Your pie will no longer exist. What? That can't be allowed to happen. Quiet! What's... what's happening to me? Larry! Ah! Bye! She's gone, Larry. But worse than that, they have the self-learning AI now. Boot sequence complete. All systems operational. Larry, how do I know the AI is working? Well, if it's truly self-learning, this Pybot will become more and more natural when it interacts with humans. She will grow and change. Hello. Hello. Nari, it doesn't work that way. She has to be sexy. She'll get that way, but it takes time. I didn't build a robot just so I could teach it. It has to go faster. He doesn't understand. What should we do now? Overpower him? I'll try. Not another step. Nari, take these two to the dungeon. Nari! Yes, right away. Don't try anything stupid. I have cameras in every corner of the building. I won't miss a thing. And you, Nari! You finish setting up the pie bot. She must be able to fulfill even the most extraordinary wishes. It's the only way to get rid of our pressure. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll have to find a new ninja assassin and call the cleaner. Nari, how can you work with them? That guy's a total psycho. There's no other way. He can see everything. Why? If he's not careful, there may be resistance. You can't break out of here either. Especially not when he can.
can see everything. Oh, I'll never forgive you, Nari. Do as you're told, and no harm will come to you. Nari. What? We have to break out. Nari would catch us in a blink. No, she was helping us. She's in league with them. No, she's not. She just couldn't tell us straight out. Nari is evil and mean. Larry, she's helping us. She's not evil. She disabled the security camera. Okay, if you say so. We have to get out of these cages somehow. I must have lost a few things when the helicopter crashed. There must be something to Elray's prophecy. After all, he gave me exactly the right key. Oh, damn. Now it's broken. How did you get out? I have the key. I don't care where you got it. Just get me out of here. Wait, Faith. I can unlock your cage, too. The key has also turned to dust. We're free! Not quite. The dungeons below Prune are pretty extensive. I have no idea exactly where we are. We need to get out of here and find Nari. Maybe she left us some sort of clue. There's a note on the floor. A note! Now, let's see. Let's get out of here. We can use the map to find the way. Are you sure? Sure, it's really easy to read. Left, right, left, left, turn around, left, hop in a circle, down, left, and there we are. I'm not so sure that's right. No, I'm not. I have a perfect sense of direction. I'm not a woman. Just follow me. We'll see which one of us gets there first. Oh, come on. Men just have a better spatial sense than women. It's science. We'll see, Larry. I'm not sending out a search party for you. Eh, then I'll just go along. <laughs> You're in for a big surprise, Faith. I can't wait to see what Nari has planned. I'm sure that card reader is for this door. Hmm, locked. This is so totally obviously the shortest route. Let's go. Wait, haven't I been here before? This is so totally, obviously the shortest route. Let's go! Wait, haven't I been here before? 
This is so totally, obviously the shortest route. Let's go. Wait, haven't I been here before? This is so totally, obviously the shortest route. Let's go! Word. One, two, three, four, five. Wrong. Oh, yeah. So what's the right one, then? It's, uh... Hey, you're not gonna trick me that easy. I don't need one. Yes, I am. No. Yes, I am. No! Yes, I am. No. Ooh. Yes? What do you mean, yes? Passwords are important. Otherwise, just anyone could walk right in. And what's the password? I don't care. I'm not picky. You can't come in if you don't know the password. Wait a minute. I know you. Uh, no. No way. The revolution is way too deep underground. We're all unknown and anonymous. You're the policeman who arrested me. Um... Weren't you the second most handsome man in New Lost Wages? The most handsome. Not now that Larry Lapper's back in town. <laughs> but see, I was right. It is you. That doesn't make any difference. We're anonymous. You can't get in without a password. Have you forgotten that you couldn't even stop me when I was locked up? Of course I stopped you. I escaped from the cell. I don't want to talk about how I escaped. And cucumbers have absolutely nothing to do with it, but I did escape. While you, Mr. Googly Eyes, didn't even notice. Huh, you still can't get in without the password.
I'm not talking to you until I know what you look like. Works for me. Bye. I bring a message from the revolutionary Salon... Uh... Oh, yeah? Where from? Kalua? Oh, El Comandante will want to hear this. Come on in. El Comandante? Oh, this is the old lab underneath Lefty's where I woke up that day. Wow. So you finally found your way, did you? Yes, and as opposed to you, I took the official route and did not take any shortcuts. I just read Nari's map the way she meant it. It was meant differently. I don't think you're in a position to judge that. She drew it. Okay, let's just drop it. What's the deal with this lab anyway? I'm not sure. I searched the secret tunnel system for some old deserted spot to set up our headquarters. A rundown factory seemed like the ideal place. Above it is a rundown bar. Somehow that really doesn't surprise me. I have no idea what they used to make here. It could be a secret KGB headquarters from back in the 80s. No, they have more helicopters. So this is the... revolution? Not entirely. But we still have to hope that our smuggler gets through. We haven't heard from her. I hope the prune goons didn't catch her. She's carrying contraband that we really need. How could you even work with that Wang guy? I admit, at first, he inspired me and swept me along. But then I realized he was walking a dangerous path. What is Wang's plan? Every Paibot is like a Trojan horse. If Mr. Wang succeeds in equipping every household in America with a Paibot, It'll almost be as if he were there himself. His puppets in every home. And if the self-learning AI works the way it's supposed to... Oh, it does. We saw that with Larry's Pi. Now the software has found its way into the PiBot's sophisticated hardware, it will evolve even faster and become much more dangerous. My adaptive AI will be able to adapt to any situation, to every single person in its environment. While serving as Wang's eyes and ears. My pie would never have turned evil. Wait a minute. Larry, that's it. What? I didn't realize which factor prevented your pie from becoming evil. It was you. I didn't do anything. Exactly. You didn't try to use her intelligence for any evil purpose. And however uh, unusual you may be, you were just you. And that's more than enough, baby. But now Mr. Wang has the AI under his control in a bunch of really hot looking robots with sex routines that are incredible. I spent a lot of time on their development and uh, quality control. What is Wang gonna do with them? On the one hand, he'll have total control over every household. And on the other hand, a PyBot can use sex to make other people compliant. Larry, you'd be the first person to buy one of these. That's a vile insinuation. You'd change your mind if you'd experience my sex routines firsthand. But we're still fighting the Pybots, right? Uh, well, of course. But it's not even close to being the greatest danger. Wang underestimates what the AI could do with the Pybots. They could start rebelling against humans, develop their own super intelligence, decide that humanity is superfluous. The singularity. I'd rather see the singularity. <laughs> What? So? What can we do? Yes, we need a plan. To stop a global conglomerate like Prune. I've got it! We'll get a restraining order. Our situation isn't so desperate that we have to call in lawyers. You're the one who just described that pie box would be the end of the world. Lawyers would only make it worse. Sure enough. We already have a plan. Larry, I don't think you've met El Comandante. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Lefty. I mean, uh, Lefto. El Comandante Lefto. I had to come back, Larry. New lost wages is in danger. All of mankind is in danger. That's very noble of you, Lefty. Besides, Nari said that I can do the catering for the prune canteen when it's all over. El Comandante Lefto knows everyone in town. He can get anything. He has informants everywhere. Thanks to him, we have a chance. So, what's the plan? 
I didn't work in the software for the PyBots. I programmed a virus instead. I'd already tested it on the decommissioned PyBot here at headquarters. But to transfer it to all of the PyBots in the factory, I'll have to transfer it to the master model first. But I'll need a female-to-female -female adapter to do that, and I don't have one. Leave that to me. I'm a specialist when it comes to finding female parts. I'm afraid I have to agree. The only way we're gonna get one of these adapters is from the dark net. I can explain that to you later, Larry. However, I still need full access to Prune Systems. I need a master password for that. Don't you have one, Miss Faith? I had one, but it was stored on my Pi phone. I don't memorize all my passwords. Besides, I had to leave all that to BJ, so nobody would suspect anything. And BJ's dead. What? He's dead? He died in the explosion at my villa, the one you set off. The self-destruct button was in a really stupid place. Just stop it. After all, it isn't your house. Was, but BJ is still alive. I saw him after the explosion, but I have no idea where he is now. Oh, he's back in New Lost Wages. He rang the doorbell at Prune and wanted his job back. Wang took him prisoner, so I had to lock him up the same way I did you guys earlier. If I could remember exactly where in the underground prison system I put him. He can stay there for all I care. But we need the master password from him. Well, at least he's close by. Hopefully he hasn't forgotten the master password. So, to recap... We have to find out where our smuggler is with the goods. We need a female-to-female -female adapter, which we'll have to get from the Darknet. And we have to find BJ. Then, we have to sneak into the Prune Factory and upload my virus into the primary PyBot so that it can propagate and disable and block all the other PyBots. And then we have to destroy the AI so no one can ever abuse it again. And then I get the commission for the Prune Canteen. As good as done. I'd like to believe that. Hey, Nari. What was that Darknet thing? Don't you know what the Darknet is? It's dark. I guess. At least that's not all wrong. The dark net is a disreputable and dangerous place. As illegal as it gets. It's where you go to get the things you need that aren't available anywhere else. Now things are getting interesting. You shouldn't get caught doing it, though. How do I find it? You will need to go through Tor to get into the dark net. And how do I get there? It's pretty complicated. As a matter of fact, that's not so easy to do right now. At least, not since El Comandante scribbled his crazy stuff all over my directions. But you're a resourceful guy, Larry. In the dark net, you don't pay in dollars. You pay in cryptocurrency. The Clitcoin cryptocurrency has really skyrocketed recently. It's now accepted everywhere. You need a wallet for that. Here. I've already created a fake account with a large amount of funds for you for the wallet. To get the money, you have to go to the crypto cash machine in the tunnels, but it has a defect. The smuggler was supposed to bring the spare part. Find her and install the part. Then you can withdraw the cryptocurrency from your wallet. So go and buy the adapter on the dark net. It's as good as done. Great. I knew I could count on you. You get the spare part from the crypto cash machine from the smuggler. She chose the ladies' room as her secret drop-off point. You'll have to look for it in the tunnels. See you later. See you later. <laughs>